the entrance antiphon. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom should I dread? When those who do evil draw near, they stumble and fall. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right, and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah the Tishbite from Tishbe in Gilead said to Ahab, As the Lord the God of Israel lives, whom I serve, during these years there shall be no dew or rain except at my word. The Lord then said to Elijah, Leave here, go east, and hide in the wadi Cherith east of the Jordan. You shall drink of the stream, and I have commanded ravens to feed you there. So he left and did as the Lord had commanded. He went and remained by the Wadi Cherith, east of the Jordan. Ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning, and bread and meat in the evening, and he drank from the stream. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our help, Our help is, is from, from the Lord, Lord who made, made heaven, heaven and earth. I lift up my eyes towards the mountains. When shall help come to me? My help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our, Our help, help is, is from, from the Lord who made heaven and earth. May he not suffer your foot to slip. May he slumber not who guards you. Indeed, he neither slumbers nor sleeps, the guardian of Israel. Our, Our help, help is, is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. The Lord is your guardian. The Lord is your shade. He is beside you at your right hand. The sun shall not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. Our, Our help, help is, is from the Lord, Lord who made heaven and earth. The Lord will guard, guide you, guard you from all evil. He will guard your life. The Lord will guard your coming and your going, both now and forever. Our, Our help, help is, is from the Lord, Lord who made heaven and earth. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. May I mind on my lips and my heart. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Thus they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. All right, well, um, the Beatitudes, 
we can look at it to, in at least two ways today. One is, what do they uh, say about Jesus, and um, what do they say about life? So first of all, what do they say about Jesus? Well, he goes up from the crowds to a mountain, and he sits down and teaches. Moses went up the mountain and was taught by God. Jesus sitting is a, a sign of him taking his place of authority. Um, and on the mountain, it re um, reminds us of how God came down to meet Moses on the mountain to teach Moses the Ten Commandments and the rest of the law. And so here's Jesus, a human, taking the place at the top of the mountain uh, to teach. But what's neat is, is that he's both um, God he's, and he's both human. <laughs> So he has the clarity of thought of God, who knows all the truth, the author of truth, who is the truth, but yet he has the human experience that we all share of the normal, ordinary life. And the two kind of kiss, they come together at the top of the mountain. Um, so that's pretty cool. And so when we're looking about our, our how we live is... Uh, Jesus the teacher is also the Jesus the exemplar is that he's living it um, someone said that you could look at all the Beatitudes and they're present being lived out exemplified by Jesus on the cross it's a really fascinating uh, reflection now what do the Beatitudes say about our lives that's the second point the first point is that Jesus is not only teacher, but he's exemplar, um, and he, you know, he's God. But um, the second point is, what do they say about our lives? And I won't go through all of them, but the word blessed, makarion, or makarios in Greek, it means like well-being, completely satisfied. Um, so th these are kind of like ironic, oxymorons, parad paradoxical statements. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness. Why? How can they be blessed? How can they be satisfied? For they will be satisfied. Well, let's just think about that one. Those who desire and thirst for righteousness, they're, gonna, they're actually happy because they will be satisfied. Their desires for righteousness will be satisfied because of what Jesus does. He pays for our sins. He rights the wrongs. He, he starts to reorder society through the Holy Spirit. And so even though we are still thirsting and desiring for justice, for righteousness, and we're suffering because of it, Jesus says, no, blessed are you, because it's all going to get fixed. And then you, you will be satisfied. And we think about that with the social, um, so the, the the social dis um, disarray, the um, kind of division in society, the the protesting, the the violence, the the injustices, and well, the, the whole thing. I, I I don't understand everything that's going on, but um, you know, so much going on that the news reports. But at the base of it all, we want righteousness for everybody and we may not be in a position to fix everything but we can desire it and then do our little part and Jesus says you will be satisfied because we join him we join him who's the savior in reordering society even if it's just with the little things in each of our days. My sisters and brothers, let us now offer our prayers to our Heavenly Father. that the Lord may continue to bless and care for all the leaders of our church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that the Holy Spirit may grant our civic authorities a clean heart to do God's work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who hunger and thirst may be satisfied through the generous mercy of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a swift end of the coronavirus pandemic that afflicts our world, that God will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, and help us all to persevere in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may know the peace and comfort of God's eternal rest. And for the intention of this Mass, a special intention. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers we hold silently in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Together we offer our vocations prayer. God, our Father, we beg you for an increase in religious vocations. Help our people offer their lives in service to you. Let them hear your Spirit's invitation and awaken in their hearts a desire to respond with courage, generosity, and joy. Raise up from our families faithful leaders who will serve as deacons, priests, and consecrated religious. As we entrust to your care all who seek to do your will, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Let him share this water and wine that comes shared to the Eucharist, who humbled himself to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Humble spirit and God, your God, may we sanctify you, Lord, may our sacrifice be set to sing praises of the Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, name for, for our, our good and good, good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you, O holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Walker, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. And Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Let's make the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for eternal life just to receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit through your death gave life to the world, free me by this most holy body and blood from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For the body of Christ can be saved for eternal life. God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God, and God in him. I invite you to join us for 
a prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to what is right. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us today here at, for Mass in the Holy Rosary Chapel of St. Edmund School in our parish of Holy Trinity. I hope you have a wonderful day. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.